What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now I want to take you guys back over two years ago to the morning of January 14th, 2021, when we all woke up to see a headline not generated from an industry insider, a rumor, or even an anonymous 4chan post, but rather Deadline, the most trusted of Hollywood trades that read Captain America Eyes Return to the MCU as Chris Evans nears deal to reprise role in a future Marvel project exclusive, where they went on to report, quote, in a move that is sure to rock the Marvel Cinematic Universe, sources tell Deadline that Chris Evans is cleaning the dust off his Captain America attire as he is expected to reprise the role in the MCU in some form. It's still vague whether the deal is closed, but insiders say it's headed in the direction for Evans to return as Steve Rogers, AKA Captain America, in at least one Marvel property, with the door open for a second film. Sources add it's unlikely to be a new Captain America installment and more likely to be what Robert Downey Jr. did after Iron Man 3, appearing in such films as Captain America Civil War and Spider-Man Homecoming, and of course, Marvel had no comment. Now, in the two plus years since this news, we've learned of two things. Number one, later that year, Black Widow would release to a bit of a public mess with the date and date release because of the pandemic. But in the wake of the reconciliation, it would be confirmed that Scarlett Johansson was returning at least as a producer on a top secret Marvel project. The second, that that project was likely Nomad, focusing on also bringing back Steve Rogers' Captain America, and this coming from several industry insider sources, and again, over the last 24 months. And that's where we pick up today with a ton of brand new details coming from various sources and Twitter scoopsters talking about what to expect from this project, who's involved, what it means for the future of the MCU and their involvement with other projects past this, and when this is actually set to start filming. We're breaking down the latest rumors and reports for the upcoming Marvel Studios Nomad project that'll see the return of Chris Evans, Steve Rogers, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, and of course, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. But first, quick reminder, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. So if that sort of thing's for you, to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below, that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one's right around the corner. Again, all you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so we actually have two different sources for details on this project coming out at the same time. We're gonna start with the new Twitter scoopster, The V Scooper. Reminder here at the channel that we're always willing to give a little more reverence to someone or an industry insider that's willing to put their name on something. However, since he's new to the pool like a lot of these other industry insiders and as of late, we're gonna have to give him some time to see if these details come true. He starts by saying the MCU Nomad project will bring back Steve Rogers' Captain America and that Nomad will allow us to revive the previous Avengers team up, not only for this project, but for future ones as well. He continues by saying that both Steve Rogers and Natasha Romanoff will appear once again in Nomad working together with time travel and multiversal elements will feature the return of Tony Stark as a multiversal variant. This might be the first time in the multiverse saga that we will see Iron Man multiversal variant before Secret Wars. I can confirm that Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Scarlett Johansson have their contracts for this project. I will also mention, we did talk about contracts for Robert Downey Jr. as of late, and while officials at Marvel Studios have often said he's a non-starter for any of these Phase 4 projects, if you look at all of those quotes from people, they're always applying it in retrospect, as in, during the pre-development, they weren't considering it. There have been other sources in the industry who have been steadfast that indeed Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, and Natasha Romanoff are coming back for this project. This is just the first time we're seeing all of these details tied together. He continues by saying Black Widow is returning more times as well in one way or another for other projects in the MCU soon. So perhaps on top of directing and or producing, which she's rumored to have a part of for this project, she may also produce on others, which is nothing new for Marvel Studios. They've had several directors and or actors be listed in the producer credits on the film as a way of, of course, securing a part of the gate and negotiations as part of their contract. Now switching sources and gears for just a second, the exact same project, but now we're moving into anonymous sources that have yet to be proven as well. This is what's being said. The project is focused on bringing Chris Evans to Marvel Studios. He will be the protagonist. Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow is also set for return here. Both her and Chris Evans will produce this series as well as be main stars. The script and cast is under wraps. They are set to start filming in 2024. You can also see now in both of these reports, it's being referred to as a show and series. So this is likely for Disney Plus again, if there's any truth to this. They continue by saying they still want to make a project where Captain America returns the Infinity Stones to their place and time. 
This will be the series we will see that adventure. It's multiversal, we will see set in different timelines and alternate versions of the characters. It's also indicated that they're looking to bring in new directors of photography, which means changing according to this the visual style and cinematic image of the standards that we're used to in the MCU. They're searching for HBO-like visionaries for the Secret Invasion reshoots because the new cinematography eye is what they're looking for for perhaps future projects and a change for what Marvel movies look like going forward. Now, there's a reason I started the prologue the way that I did, that there were already grounds coming from verified sources for something like this happening, that there was only a matter of time before we heard some deeper details. I also want to mention, while a lot of this may seem completely far-fetched, we are not too far from confirming whether this is true or not, because it's indicated pretty clearly that they start filming in 2024. I also want to say, if this truly was looked at back in 2021, while there is going to be a ton of people who say, of course, Marvel is quote unquote in trouble, Marvel is quote unquote failing, now all of a sudden they want to bring back the All-Stars from the Infinity Saga to save it, they were looking at this in 2021, which a long time ago, I know, full two or three years, was coming out of the pandemic, Black Widow hadn't even been released yet. That means they had real no metrics for how any of Phase 4 was going to look. Even WandaVision wouldn't come out until a month after that initial report by deadline. Meaning, this may have always been the plan, regardless of how Phase 4 went, to bring back these stars to sort of galvanize it. And, what's more, as someone who's been reporting on this exact sort of stuff and for quite some time now, I have never quite seen this web, pun totally intended, of corroborating reports starting with something like Deadline all the way down to the industry trades and scoopsters. 2024, right around the corner. This year has already gone by. We're already out of the first quarter already. When 2024 rolls around next year, if there truly is a project with Chris Evans filming Captain America in any capacity, it is going to be news in all over the place. There's just no way Marvel Studios is going to continue to be able to keep this under wraps. Or maybe they will, which means to me at least they're going to have to shoot this one entirely on a volume stage somewhere like most of Star Wars and Mando. They're going to have to shoot it inside because outside, as soon as anybody sees anything to and from set or outside, it's going to be all over the internet. There's no way to keep a lid on it. Guys, my only real reaction to this as someone who's done all of this reporting over the last two or three years, who was breaking these stories at the channel as they were coming out from other editorials, so I'm not surprised, is just that... If these are truly are the details, or even half of this is true, this just seems way too big for Disney+. Plus. Am I wrong? This would be an, a great two-hour movie, which I sort of feel like maybe that's what it'll be. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below. Marvel Studios has been pretty emphatic. They don't plan on doing movies for... Uh, Disney Plus only special presentations, which are usually the shorter end of feature length, but who knows, man? Who knows? This might actually be crazy on Disney Plus. I am all ears. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff. Before I let you go, we are still giving away a PlayStation. The next one is the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, just a couple of months away. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment on the video. Guys, please be vigilant on YouTube. There are so many scammers everywhere. Anybody can use anybody's photo. Me or not any YouTuber on the platform will ever ask you to pay for shipping. We're not going to ask you to tel telegram us or WhatsApp us. Please be safe. If you see those comments, my channel, anybody else's channel, just report them. YouTube deletes the comments pretty quickly, gets rid of those accounts, and you're helping everybody out, including me. My name is Michael Roman. Find me on Twitter and Instagram under I am Fires. Thanks for checking the channel out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.